what's up guys it's me the real tea <laughs> so as you can see i'm finally uploading my first youtube video i'm hella nervous i don't i don't put myself out there like that maybe i should but i don't so let's just get into it first of all i'm in my kitchen because the natural lighting in here is phenomenal and i also wrote down some questions that you guys have written me um yeah I put them on the front page and I just wrote little notes instead of just doing like full drawn out questions because I feel like that'll take longer. Also, I don't have none of that fancy equipment so let me know if the audio is bad or if the lighting is bad. Um, it should be okay though because like from what I can tell it looks good. Um, I kind of tested my sound a little bit and it sounded good. So yes, but let's just get into it because I'm so nervous. And I don't know, like, I've been wanting to do this a long time, but, like, what was holding me back is, I'm, like I said, I'm not the kind of person to put myself out there, but maybe I should, because I feel like these days, sorry, I feel like these days, that's the way that you can, you know, make income and do what you want to do and express yourself how you want to express yourself. So, let's get started. The first question I got the most was my name. Like, what does Tata stand for? By the way, it is Tata, not Tay Tay, um, whatever else. So, Tata stands for Tata Katen, which is a nickname that my mother gave me. Because we're Thai, you know, Thai gang, stand up. Um, but yeah, it means bright eyes. But a lot of people can't say Tata Katen. So I just go by Tata because it's short or I go by tea because it's cute and like I drink a lot of tea so I could be like, you know, tea with tea. <laughs> That's a cute name. Maybe I'll change my channel name to that. Um, but yeah, so my name is Tata Katen, but you can call me Tata or tea. My age, I'm 25 years old. I'm still kind of a spring chicken, but I'm also a little bit, you know, wise. You know, like I'm, I feel like I'm in the the center of the ages like I feel like you are fully developed well hopefully fully developed by 25 and yeah it's just a good age because like you're young but you're still knowledgeable and your wisdom is at its peak well obviously you can always learn more but whatever <laughs> anyway my birthday is March 4th so that makes me a Pisces Best sign in the world, honestly. And no, I'm not biased. That's just what I believe. Because, yeah, I don't know. I feel like Pisces are so compassionate and they are very empathetic and they're really good friends to have. So if you don't have a Pisces in your life, go get one. Um, another one, my ethnicity and where I live. So I am white and Asian, specifically Thai. My mom is from Thailand, uh, where I live. Las Vegas, baby, Sin City. <laughs> I feel like I say that a lot on Instagram, so I'm surprised that people don't know that. But yeah, I live in Las Vegas. Um, it's great-ish sometimes. The weather is kind of crazy here. Like, the summertime is literally, I tell people this all the time, like a life-size blow dryer because it's constantly hot as fuck here in the summertime. I'd say our summer months are like, mm, like April to... September, sometimes October, we get crazy temperatures here, and I've never experienced anything like it. Um, another one, what I will have on my channel. So, I haven't really decided on this yet, which is why you might experience some name changes on my YouTube channel, like, title, because I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. People have told me that I need a niche, that I need something specific that I'm going to be doing, but for me... I just, there's so many things that I love, and I always tell people this also, I am not a, I don't know, not a jack of all trades, um, I'm just like, you know, I could do a lot of things, but I'm a master at nothing, basically, maybe that is what a jack of trades is, I don't know, but yes, so I don't really know yet, but my focus will probably be on, like, just little chats like this, um, food, because I love to eat, I love it. As you, you know, if you couldn't tell. Um, so yeah, like food reviews maybe, or like maybe some little things that I love to do in Vegas that many people wouldn't know about if they don't live here. Um, but definitely food is my main focus, or like fashion, because 
I love little try on hauls. I watch those a lot myself, so they're pretty entertaining. So I'm probably gonna be doing that. Um, but yeah, you'll just have to stay tuned. Or if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. That feels so weird saying that because I'm not used to this, but yes. I am open to suggestions, whatever you guys want to see, but yeah, keep it cute. Um, my upload schedule, I'm probably going to try like once a week at the least right now, but maybe if there's more demand or if I have like random ideas throughout the week, then I will upload more often. But I also am still working a full-time job, so I'm obviously going to need time to edit which I don't know how much editing I'll be doing on my videos honestly because I like the raw uncut versions of things myself but I'm not sure what you guys prefer and I know on YouTube that it's a little bit different and some people do prefer the excessive cuts and the excessive editing so I'll just see how it goes as far as that goes um, this one is asked all the time I <laughs> I really don't feel like I have to address it, but I will because so many people ask me and I just, I don't know. I don't really have an answer. But the main thing about it is if I am single, yes, I'm single and I'm not ready to mingle. I love to be alone and I love to, you know, like do my own thing and I have to answer to anybody. If the right man comes along, sure, more power to us. But as of right now, I like being single and I just got so many other things that I'm focused on and a relationship is just not my top priority and I don't want to be selfish in my relationship I want to be as dedicated as they are to me and I don't feel like I can provide that right now but like I said it could change who knows um my dream job mmm this is spicy so well not really so my dream job I've, I've always loved animals um, originally I wanted to be a veterinarian clearly that didn't work out uh, like obviously it's too late to I feel like I say obviously a lot but yeah like I said it's too late to in my opinion too late to really pursue that because veterinary school takes a little bit of time and a few years and I just have so many responsibilities enough as it is like, I just you know I don't know and I also forgot to mention I don't have any kids that's something that I get asked a lot as well no kids um, but I do have other responsibilities that I don't feel like going into detail about right now, but yes. So my dream job, like I said, is veterinarian. That didn't work out. Um, I also would love to model. I'd love to um, work with like Savage X Fenty. I love, love Rihanna's lingerie line. It's fire. And yes, that would be great. But so I guess like model slash veterinarian, maybe like a mix or anything helping animals, honestly, because I just, I love animals. I know there's a lot of people who also love animals, but they can't give them the proper care because they can't afford expensive medical care for their animals, so then they end up surrendering them. So whenever I do have disposable income, I really want to donate it to help low-income people care for their animals and still be able to like keep them, you know, where they don't have to feel like they gotta surrender them for them to get their best care. Uh, let's see, favorite thing to do. Well, you guys see me in a swimsuit a lot. I always get comments about that. Well, not comments. In my DMs, people are always like, oh my God, you're always in a swimsuit. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Where do you go swimming at? Why are you always by the pool? Like I said, in Vegas, it gets hot as you know what. And yeah, like, I just love being in the water. I'm a Pisces, like I said, so we naturally... You know the animal sign for Pisces is a fish so we just love the water and me like that's just like a sanctuary for me it's like how some people go to like church for comfort or they go to their friends and family for comfort my comfort is water I love the ocean but I don't live near the ocean anymore so pool is second best thing and you know there's pools all over Vegas so it works out kind of I love the ocean though so I prefer to go to the ocean but as I'm limited right now with my time the pool will just have to do so yes that's why I'm always in a swimsuit because your girl loves to be in the water um oh somebody said how often should they sage so you guys know 
I love to sage. Um, it really depends on your personal preference. This is what I always tell my friends too. It depends on your personal preference. For me, I like to sage at least once a month, but if I feel like negative energy is like conjuring in my house, then I will sage more often, but I usually don't sage more than like two times a month. I try to keep it limited because I feel like if you sage too much, like what is that really doing? What is that really helping? But when you sage, I always notice that people do this too. Make sure you have your windows open. Make sure you sage around your doorways and um, like major doorways, like your back door, front door, um, you know, etc., etc. Because I often notice that people sage but don't open their windows. And don't get me wrong, I love this smell as well. Um, but if you're just saging and the bad energy doesn't have nowhere to go, it's just going to be stuck up in your house with you just flying around in different rooms. And then eventually when you're done saging, it'll just settle back and it'll still be in your house. So open the windows. Um, <laughs> someone said, what are your negative traits? You know, we always talk about our positive things. So I guess... This is an okay question and I put it in here on purpose, obviously, because, you know, we all have negative things about ourselves that we want to change. So I would say like, I have a short temper. Um, I can be very blunt, which can be a positive and a negative, but in my opinion, it, I would still class it as a negative because sometimes I hurt people's feelings just because either they're not used to upfront, straight up honesty or it might come off a little bit harsh, but whatever the case is, um, yes, I'm very blunt and I have a temper, but I'm working on my temper. That's why I like meditate and do all that stuff because sometimes it helps and I just try to keep a positive mindset because I'm kind of like, sometimes I kind of get down in the dumps, you know, but it's just better to keep a positive mindset and to realize that there's more to come and you don't know what tomorrow brings. So. You just got to keep going and keep moving forward and look at all the positives that you do have in your life and just to be grateful. Um, my positive traits. Hmm. I can think of a few. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my positive trait. Hmm. I already said like how Pisces are compassionate and empathetic, but I really feel like that really resonates with me in general because I just would give my last. I would give the shirt off my back to help someone else. And even when I had nothing... I still went out of my way to make sure that other people were good, which again, could be a positive or a negative depending how you look at it. But for me, that's positive. Like there's not a lot of good left in this world. And for me to be, this is like I said, my own perspective, but for me to be a like a shoulder that somebody can lean on when they feel like they don't have anybody, that really means a lot to me. I like people knowing that they can depend on me and they don't feel alone because I felt alone many times in my life and it's not a good feeling. Like when you feel like you have something to look forward to or someone to look forward to, to like vent to your problems, whatever, it's just, it just helps you get through the day. And that's ultimately what I want to be for everyone else. I want to be able to help people get through the day. I want to be able to give them sound advice and just, you know, help them through their life because it's really important that you have someone else's perspective other than your own. Because if you're just going by your own perspective every single day, day in, day out, you're not really going to learn anything. And life is a learning journey. Like, you need to keep learning to be able to grow and move forward. And, yeah. So, yes, that's what I think my positive trait is. I'm very compassionate. You can always depend on me. And I'm very... You know, I'm, I'm just ready to help people and make a difference because there's just so much crazy going on in the world. Um, do I have any friends? I also chose to put this one in here because people always say that I don't have friends and that like, you know, the little random pages that hit you up and they're just talking shit. I don't know who's behind them, whatever. It's kind of weird, honestly, that people go out of their way to be mean to you, but it is what it is. That's part of the internet craze that we live in. I do have friends. I'm very selective with my friends, but I do have them. And I hope that they would say that I was a good friend, but I mean, I'm not them, so I can't answer that question. From my perspective though, of course, I feel like I'm a great friend to have. Um, I'm just really selective 
and you just can't befriend everyone, you know? You can want to help them and whatever, but a lot of people take advantage. So you gotta draw the line somewhere. There's a balance. So the people that I have a good balance with are my friends. Um, why don't I post them? Because I post them sometimes, you know? But also, I don't like when people post ugly pictures of me or what I think are ugly. And if they feel like that they don't look good in the picture, I'm not gonna post it, so. I feel like that's fair but yes I do have friends of course um, but just not many I don't I'm not one of those people where you're gonna see me like in a group photo with like 10 people like that's not a thing that I have um, I just have my close little circle and that's what we like to do also what is my favorite advice to give mm. um, I always preach about being natural being comfortable in your own skin, loving yourself, because I've just noticed that these days, or I don't know, maybe this has been a thing for like forever, but I hate how everybody feels like they gotta live up to these beauty standards, how they need to be a certain size, or they need to wear makeup, or they can't have blemishes on their face, or anything like that. Like, no, you could be however you wanna be. As long as you love yourself and you treat others with respect, then you know, what's wrong with your physical appearance? I feel like everybody should accept the way that they look and just love themselves because if you don't love you, who's going to love you? You know, that's kind of toxic to say, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like, you have to love you first before you can go trying to love somebody else. Because if you put your eggs in someone else's basket and don't leave yourself nothing, what do you have left? You don't got nothing, you know? But yes. Love yourself, um, accept your natural beauty, embrace your flaws because we are all hard on ourselves. And just because you have something about yourself that you don't like, people probably don't even notice it. And ignore negative comments. <laughs> ignore the negative comments, focus on the positive. Um, what I do though, positive affirmations are really, really helpful. Anytime you're feeling down on yourself or whatever, I go in the mirror and I'm like, you know what, T? You're a boss, you're independent, you're beautiful. Like, if people don't see that of you, then they don't need to be in your life. Why, why focus on the negative things that other people say to you when there's so much more to you that they don't even see because they're only focused on the surface, you know? So yes, my mantra is natural beauty always. Don't feel like you gotta wear makeup to leave the house. Don't feel like you gotta get plastic surgery to wear certain clothes or look a certain way just embrace yourself and if you want to get plastic surgery and you want to get your makeup done or do your makeup for yourself more power to you but just don't feel like that you have to do it for other people always do things for you and you only um why is my hair purple this i put in there because it's a funny question so my hair is purple because i love the unnatural colors I feel like having my natural hair is dark brown slash light brown. It's it's weird. It's like, I don't know. In my opinion, this is dark brown. My roots are dark brown. But it gets really, really dark underneath. So, yes. I have like kind of a mix. Obviously, the hair on my top, on the top of my head is way lighter just from sun exposure and whatever over the years, I think. Anyway, it's purple because um, I just, I feel like it fits me. Um, I've had pink hair, red hair, blue hair. Well, blue strips, I should say. Um, and I just feel like, I felt like purple, you know, really expresses itself to me. And I just really like it. I think it matches well with my personality. And it's just cute. I just really like it, honestly. Um, how many tattoos do I have? One, two, three, four. Four? I don't know. Yeah, four, I would say. I count my stomach tattoos as two separate ones because I got them at separate times. So I have four. Do I want more? Definitely. Please send me your tattoo artist in Las Vegas if you live here. I cannot find somebody for the life of me. There were some artists I was speaking to that were only doing black and white and I really, really, really want colorful, detailed pieces. And I feel like black and white just won't express what I'm trying to express. It won't portray or convene the image that I have in my head. So I need somebody who knows what they're doing, 
with great color skills because I need some detailed amazing work. So Las Vegas Tattoo Artist, please hit me up if you do color. Please, thank you. Um, <clears throat> what do I hope to gain from starting a YouTube? Mm -hmm. Well, as I said before, I feel like putting yourself out there these days is a perfect way to make money and to uh, network and to form relationships that'll help you further yourself in your career, whatever it is that you want to do or accomplish. Um, but YouTube just seems like the money maker right now. Plus, as I said, I really want to help people. Ooh, it's getting hot, girl. I really want to help people, um, you know, love themselves. And I want to be somebody that will make somebody's day just from like laughing at my little jokes or whatever stories I got to tell for the day. Um, I just want to, I just want to be that for someone else. And if like networking opportunities come in the process of it, I would just love that. And I would also, YouTube, obviously you don't have to go into an office and do all that stuff. Like, you know, nine to five, typical job, whatever. I just don't feel like I belong in the corporate world. I have a job now. I really do love it. I love the people I work with, but I just don't see myself there forever. And I don't feel like it matches my purpose. Like I'm not literally helping people love themselves. You know, I'm not doing what I feel like I was put here to do. So that's kind of like why I'm starting a YouTube. I want to see where it'll go. If it doesn't go anywhere, then, you know, it's just not meant to be. But to be fair, I've been seeing a lot of 444s, which is an angel number, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of 444s. Four um, I've been catching the clock at 1111 almost every day, literally. And I always make a wish on 1111. It might sound like a little cliche or whatever. Or it might be funny to you that I follow into that stuff. But I really do. I really do believe in it. And it just felt like a sign. It felt like now is the proper time to put myself out there and try to do something different. Because what I'm doing now is just dimming my light. It's dimming my spirit and I need to keep feeding my spirit and I need to keep growing and putting myself out there and not being so closed off and shy is part of growth. So that's what I'm trying to do. And like I said, if networking comes from it, then amazing. If other opportunities come from it, amazing. Hit me up if you want to collab. <laughs> will I be doing clothing hauls? Yes, I will. But... What kind of clothing hauls do you want to see? Because it just depends. I'm not too familiar right now with YouTube guidelines because this is all new to me. So I'm not really sure what I'm allowed to post. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for posting this, but I don't see why I would because everything is covered. You know, everything's covered up. So I need to review the YouTube guidelines. I probably will once my channel finally, if it, you know, when it reaches monetization or whatever, I probably will review the guidelines. But at the beginning, obviously, you don't really make money from it, which is fine. Whatever. This can be a hobby at the start, and hopefully it'll turn into um, my source of income in the long run. That's the goal. So it depends. But I will be doing clothing hauls because I feel like these days, like I said, a lot of women have plastic surgery. And you just, if you're not looking at a natural body... You can't really tell how the clothes are going to fit on you. And that's my problem all the time. I order clothes and I'm like, hmm, okay, the size chart matches with what my measurements are, but I'm also a little curvy here and there, so I don't know if it's going to fit. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So I think that seeing natural bodies wearing these items will be a lot easier to differentiate what you can buy, what you can't buy. Plus, you'll have like a live view instead of just a picture of somebody who posed in this outfit where you got to... Hope that it wasn't altered like the image wasn't altered. And hope that the material is stretchy or that it's this material over that material. And I feel like in a video I can better describe what kind of material it is and how it fits me. And you can see it better with your eyes. Um, this goes to another question. Where do I shop? I shop at Fashion Nova mostly, I would say. Or Diva Moda. Diva Moda is a boutique in Miami. They got great, amazing clothes, unique pieces. They're really cute. Um, they're very bold sometimes. And sometimes you just need a bold outfit. But yes, so most of my like 
swimsuits come from there. My special occasion outfits for my, like for example, my birthday or New Year's or holidays in general. I get them from Diva Moda or Fashion Nova. But lately I've been leaning more towards Diva Moda. <laughs> But yes, so those are the two that I shop at the most. Obviously, I love lingerie, so I also shop at Savage X Fenty by Rihanna because that girl knows how to design herself some clothes, boy, I swear. Or some lingerie, I should say. Duh. But yes, I love Savage X Fenty, but obviously I can't wear lingerie everywhere I go, unfortunately. So, yeah. So actual clothes, if that's what you mean. Fashion Nova, Diva Moda. Um... Or sometimes I go in the mall, like Forever 21, Windsor, you know, typical stores that you see in malls. Uh, where was I at? Oh, this is a good one. My workout routine. I actually don't have a workout routine. I'm trying to get in better shape, you know, whatever. Just for me, though, I don't really feel out of shape. But I notice that I come home and I sit on the couch and I, you know, I'm sitting there relaxing not really doing anything with my time. I occasionally, or I would say, I, I don't know. It depends what you call occasionally. But I do walk around my neighborhood. I roller skate. I swim. You know, those can be seen as sports. But I don't know. I feel like I sit on my couch way too often. So my best friend and I recently signed up for the gym. This was our second week going. And we agreed on three days a week. But this week I did two days. Next week I'm doing two days because I have to get my nails done. And there's certain days of the week that I want to go. So we go Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and, you know, we're just kind of going with the flow of things. We're not really setting necessarily um, certain workouts. Like we don't have a leg day, arm day, abs day. We kind of do it all in one day, which may or may not be correct. I'm not sure because I'm not a personal trainer. But for the most part, I eat pretty clean. Um, I don't really eat a lot of junk food or sweets. I might have some here and there. I never drink soda. I never drink juice. The only times that I do are like for chasers, for liquor, but we're not going to get into that because I don't know if that's allowed to be talked about on YouTube or not. But yes, so usually though, every single day I drink water. My downfall though is coffee. I love me some coffee. I love creamers. I use different creamers. I buy different creamers. I go to Starbucks. I go to Dunkin'. I go to these local coffee shops in Vegas because we've got a lot of really cool mom and pop shops here. Um, so that's probably my downfall. But for the most part, I feel like I eat pretty healthy. Plus, water is so important. I think if I didn't drink as much water as I do, then I might have a little bit of a problem with my health. But for the most part, I feel like I'm in pretty good health. You know, um... Everything in moderation. Don't sit there and eat cake all day long because <laughs> that's not good for you. Point is, in moderation, everything is okay in moderation. Um, don't snack too much. Don't eat a lot of chips. Don't eat a lot of junk food. Eat like salads and pay attention to your, like, your portions. Don't overeat. Don't stuff yourself. When you feel yourself full, then that's when you know to stop eating. And it sounds simple, but us Americans love to eat large portions of food and we need to stop that. Don't overindulge basically. And do an occasional, at least maybe like 30 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, just take a walk. Like you don't have to run. You don't necessarily have to do push-ups or sit-ups or whatever, whatever. It depends what you're trying to aim for, but just keep your heart going and you know, keep yourself in good health and don't just spend all your time on the couch like me because that's not good for your heart or for your body or for your mind. Sometimes getting outside or exercising or whatever can really help your mental state and help you refocus. Um, let's see. Last thing I want to address really quick before I close this out is catfishes. People have inboxed me for years, years, bro, and I'm not even exaggerating, saying that they got scammed out of money. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I have never been a scammer. I don't gain anything from stealing money from people. Um, that's actually really, really bad karma, and I would never do that. Um, and I would hate for someone to do that to me. So that goes into another thing. Treat people how you want to be treated. Um, but yeah, no. I've never been a scammer. Um, if you see anybody asking for money with my pictures, please reference this YouTube video because it's not me. Um, my only Instagram is 
Tata, T-A-T-A, -T -A, dot Buddha, B-U-D-D-H-A. If it's not Tata Buddha, baby, it's not me, okay? So yes, and if you get scammed or if you send somebody money for something and you don't get what you asked for and they have my picture, it's not me. And plus, don't send money to strangers on the internet. Please don't do it. Just don't do it. What's the point? What are you doing? Like, no, only send money to people you trust. And that's it. But yes, please stop stealing my pictures. <laughs> that's why I have that stupid ass watermark and I hate the watermark. And it, I feel like it ruins my pictures, but I mean, I just don't know what else to do. People keep stealing my pictures, scamming people, begging for $10 for gas. It's really fucking weird, but okay, sis. Um, but yeah, so I hate the watermark. I'm, I, I know you guys probably don't like it either, but it's unfortunately what I have to do because it's actually helped curb the catfishes. But I've been on social media for so many years that there's still pictures out there that don't have my watermark on them. So just be weary of who you're sending stuff to. Pay attention to the follower amounts, what they say. Like, if it's not something that I would say or that a person my age would say, it's probably not a real profile, let's be honest. So please be mindful, be careful, pay attention, and just don't send money to strangers, please. You know, keep your money for you. Spend it on you. Go have a spa day. Do something. Something that you love. Not spend it on other people. Okay? <laughs> okay, okay, guys. That's the last thing I'm going to say. Um, I might do another one of these. Maybe. If you guys have more questions, send me. Leave them in the comments down below. Or send them to me on my Instagram at Tata Buddha. I will leave a little strip there. Also, like I said, this probably won't be heavily edited because I'm not an editor. That's not... You know, it's not the kind of thing I do, but if you guys want it to be next time, I will work on it. I'll try to figure out how to do it. It's just not my strong suit. Pictures are my strong suit. But yes. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for all the support over the years. All the support in general. I just really appreciated all the sweet comments. It's just nice. So yes. Like, comment, subscribe, and... Have a great weekend. Bye.